Welcome friends. Today we delve into a topic that affects us all, manipulation. We'll explore ways to stop being manipulated. This can be a complex issue, as manipulation can come in many forms and from many sources. It can be a subtle nudge, a veiled threat, or even a seemingly innocent comment. But no matter the form it takes, manipulation is always a violation of our personal boundaries and our right to self-determination. To help us navigate this thorny issue, we'll discuss seven strategies to recognize and stand up against manipulation. These strategies range from understanding the signs of manipulation, setting boundaries, trusting your instincts, confronting manipulators, seeking professional help, staying educated, and surrounding yourself with positive people. Each of these steps is a powerful tool in your arsenal against manipulation, and together, they can help you reclaim your autonomy and live life on your own terms. Ready to empower yourself? Let's dive right in. Firstly, recognize the signs of manipulation. It's the initial step towards stopping it. Manipulators often use techniques that may seem harmless at first, but if left unchecked, can have a profound impact on your sense of self and well-being. One common technique is guilt tripping where the manipulator makes you feel guilty for not doing what they want. It's a way of controlling you without you even realizing it. Another sign is gaslighting, a malicious and hidden form of manipulation where the manipulator makes you doubt your own perceptions, memory, or sanity. They might tell you that things didn't happen the way you remember them, or that your feelings are irrational. You might also notice constant criticism. Manipulators often use criticism to make you feel inadequate or inferior, thereby gaining power over you. Once you know the signs, it becomes easier to spot a manipulator. Secondly, establish boundaries. It's your right to say no. Boundaries are like invisible lines that define your personal space, your comfort zone. They're not about shutting others out, but about maintaining a healthy sense of self. When you set boundaries, you're asserting your needs and making it clear that you won't be swayed by manipulation. You see, manipulators often prey on those who have blurry boundaries. They find it easier to control and influence those who can't or won't assert their own needs. But when you establish clear boundaries, you're sending a strong message that you are not a pushover. You're saying, this is my space, these are my terms, and I'm not willing to compromise them for anyone. Remember, it's not just about saying no, it's about knowing when to say no. It's about recognizing your own worth and standing up for it. So don't be afraid to set your boundaries and protect them fiercely. Remember, your boundaries are sacred. Next, trust your instincts. Your gut feeling is usually right. This is the compass that guides you in the vast sea of human interaction, the silent whisper that nudges you when something doesn't feel right. It's that inexplicable feeling that warns you before your conscious mind has even caught up. You see, our instincts are honed by years of evolution, an unconscious understanding of the nuances in human behavior. They can recognize a predator in the guise of a friend, feel the insincerity hidden in sweet words, and sense a trap cloaked under generosity. When you're dealing with manipulation, your instincts are your first line of defense. They can sound the alarm bells, even when everything seems perfect on the surface. So always listen to that little voice inside you. It might just save you from a manipulative situation. Remember your instincts are your natural defense mechanism, your internal alarm system. Never ignore what your gut tells you. Fourth, don't be afraid to confront. Stand up for yourself. Taking a stand against manipulation is a crucial path to regaining control. This journey begins with confrontation. Confrontation doesn't mean engaging in a heated argument or shouting match. It's about clear, assertive communication. Think of it this way. Manipulation is like a weed in your mental garden. If you don't address it, it will continue to grow, stifling the beautiful blooms of your self-confidence and peace of mind. But when you confront it, you're pulling that weed out by the roots. You're saying, I see what you're doing and I won't allow it. It's not easy. It takes courage and it takes practice. But every time you do it, you become stronger. You become more resilient. So don't shy away from confrontation. Embrace it as the tool it is, a tool that can help you reclaim your power. Speak up. Your voice matters. Fifth, seek professional help if needed. You're not alone. This is an essential step on your journey to stop being manipulated. Therapists and counselors are trained professionals who can provide you with valuable strategies to deal with manipulation. They can help you identify patterns of manipulative behavior that you may not have noticed and provide you with tools to combat this. Moreover, they can offer a safe space for you to express your feelings and fears. 
This can be incredibly therapeutic and can help you regain your confidence and strength. Remember, there's no shame in seeking help. In fact, it's a sign of self-care and self-respect. These professionals can also guide you towards resources and support groups where you can meet others going through similar experiences. This can be immensely comforting and can help you feel less isolated. So, don't hesitate to reach out. Help is always available. Reach out when you need to. Sixth, stay educated. Knowledge is power. The more we understand about manipulation techniques, the better equipped we are to deflect them. Delve into the psychology of manipulation. Read books, listen to podcasts, watch documentaries, and explore resources that shed light on this subject. Understanding manipulation tactics can help us identify when we're being manipulated. It's like learning a new language. Once you grasp the grammar and vocabulary, you can comprehend what's being said. Likewise, once you're familiar with manipulation techniques, you can discern when they're being used. Education is not a one-off process. It's an ongoing journey. As society evolves, so do manipulation techniques. Therefore, keep updating your knowledge. Participating in workshops, attending webinars, or even joining online communities can help you stay ahead of the curve. Remember, an informed mind is an empowered mind. The more you know, the less likely you are to be manipulated. Stay informed, stay empowered. Lastly, surround yourself with positive people. Positivity is contagious. It's like a breath of fresh air that rejuvenates and inspires. When you are in the company of those who radiate positivity, you'll find that this energy naturally rubs off on you. This is not to say that everyone has to be perpetually upbeat. We all have our ups and downs. But the key lies in choosing to associate with individuals who are fundamentally optimistic, those who encourage you, uplift you, and help you see the silver lining in every cloud. Such individuals can serve as your buffer against manipulation. Being around positive people can help you develop resilience, a stronger sense of self-worth, and a more confident outlook on life. These are crucial defenses against manipulation. They empower you to stand your ground, to say no when necessary, and to assert your rights without fear or guilt. Remember, the quality of your life is influenced by the people you choose to share it with. Your company matters. Choose wisely. So, those were the seven ways to stop being manipulated. Let's take a moment to recap, to ensure these strategies are deeply embedded in your mind. Firstly, recognizing manipulation signs is a crucial step. It's about understanding when someone is trying to control you or impose their will. It's about identifying the subtle signs of emotional blackmail or guilt tripping, and the not-so-subtle signs of threats or intimidation. Secondly, establishing boundaries is equally important. You have every right to define what is acceptable behavior and what isn't. Remember, your personal space and peace of mind are sacred, and anyone who doesn't respect that doesn't deserve a place in your life. Then, there's the power of trusting your instincts. If something feels off, it probably is. Don't doubt yourself. Your intuition is more powerful than you think. Fourthly, don't be afraid to confront the situation. It's your life, your rules. If you feel manipulated, stand up for yourself. You don't have to be aggressive, but assertive communication is key. Seeking professional help is another effective strategy. Therapists and counselors can provide you with the tools to combat manipulation and regain control of your life. And don't forget the importance of staying educated. The more you know about manipulation tactics, the better equipped you'll be to spot them. Read books, take courses, attend workshops. Knowledge is power. Lastly, surround yourself with positive people. You deserve to be around those who uplift you, respect you, and make you feel good about yourself. And as we wrap up, don't forget to subscribe if you want to learn more about self-confidence and personal development. We have a lot more insightful content coming your way. Which strategies will you work on first? Share with us in the comments below. Remember, you hold the power. Don't let anyone manipulate you.